Welcome to Pandora's Box video tutorials. In this video we want to introduce our new kiosk mode to you. The kiosk mode is a simplified version of Pandora's Box. It is built for easy use for technician and non-technician as well and it's made for situations where you just need to show a couple of videos or pictures on a dedicated screen. You can use it for example in the entrance areas of cinemas or theaters where non-technicians can easily change the actual day-by-day -day informations. The kiosk mode is a standalone player which is available within every Pandora's Box player and server license. Ok, so let's start with launching the kiosk mode. We have three main views. A windowed view, which is the default startup view. A windowed view with a playlist on the left side and a full screen view. To switch between the views, go to view in the menu bar or to the transport window. Also, you can toggle into full screen with Ctrl F. In the transport window, you can press play and pause, stop, skip forward and backward, loop on and off, toggle into full screen and hide or show the playlist. Also, the elapsed time, the remaining time, a timeline and the name of the actual file is shown. In all views, the controls will disappear if you are not using your mouse. Simply move the mouse cursor to let them appear again. For a quick start, you can just add an image or video with the button at the bottom of the playlist or in the menu bar with File, Add File to Playlist. Toggle into full screen and press Play or the spacebar. Now we want to fill and arrange the playlist. So we choose additional files, place them into the playlist and enlarge the window so that is shown completely. Here you can see an index number per file, the resource name, its duration, a fade effects, the in and out point and space for your notes. Fade out describes the time for the crossfade to the next file. The maximum fade out time depends on the duration of the following clip. In the drop down menu of the fade effects you can choose between a huge number of different transition effects. The duration and the in and out points are depending to each other as well. For example, we have a video with a native duration of 1 minute. If we change the in and out points to maybe 20 seconds and 40 seconds, we still have a video with 1 minute length. But it will loop within the video between second 20 and 40. So you have to change the duration of the video to 20 seconds as well, if you want to see the chosen part only once. On the other side, if you choose a longer duration than the native one, it will just start from the beginning after it has been displayed once. With a right click on the file, you can choose to adopt the media duration or to adopt the length between the in and out point. You can remove the file from the playlist within the same context menu. These are the basics of the new kiosk mode. So, Let's have a look at the additional infos and features. Go to the menu bar and click on File. Here you can open, add and save files and playlists. In the Configuration tab we have the Output Setup, the Audio Setup, General and Encryption. In the Output Setup you can choose how your content shall fit on your displays. You can choose a specific output layout depending on how your screens or projectors are set up and you have the possibility to work with soft edge referring to overlap and alpha blend. You can toggle these controls on in full screen as well. In the end, you are able to add a warp file on your output. In the audio setup you can choose Use Audio Clock as Master, you can play audio files in parallel with playlist entries, what means 
that an audio file is played back simultaneously to the actual video file as long as it is stored in the same folder and has exact the same name than the video file. Finally, you can switch between your installed audio devices. The general setup allows you to start your kiosk player in full screen with a certain playlist which you can loop. Also, there's the option to remote your player via a web server. Simply type in the root URL in a web browser of another device which is connected to the same network. Once you opened the page on your device, you will see the HTML-based web surface, which you can also customize. At the end, we have a built-in encryption section to protect your media files. For further information, please read the Pandora's Box manual or get in contact with our support team. Thank you for your attention.